The Google Photos application has received a few updates over the holiday, with two of them focusing on major features of the app. In one instance, the company now allows you to turn off the autoplay feature in the grid with toggles for both videos and motion photos. And in the other update, they have removed the option that gave the user the ability to choose if they wanted to back up videos over their cellular network or not. So the first major change to Google Photos happened with a new option that was added for the Photo Grid Playback feature. Now this, this happens as you're scrolling through the Photos Grid and you come across either a video or a motion photo. In the grid it will automatically pl start playing that video but now there is an option to change that and we can find that in the settings which we do by tapping on the photo or the profile icon in the top right and then tapping on photo settings now from here you just need to scroll down a little bit until you see the photo grid playback option and tapping it will bring up two different toggles. One that lets you turn off playback for videos while you're scrolling through the grid. And the other toggle lets you turn off playback for motion photos when you're scrolling through the grid. So when a big change to the app happened when the company removed an option pertaining to backing up videos over a mobile data connection. Now you may have seen this change already. So before we had a specific toggle that let us choose if we wanted to allow the application to back up our videos over a mobile data connection. It was simple and quick to enable or disable. Now with this new option, we find it in the settings section and in the backup and sync section. Scroll down a little bit and you're going to see a cell data usage option that we tap on into. So now you can see the old feature has now been replaced with a daily limit type feature. How it's set up now, we can simply set the feature to no data if we want to disable uploads over cellular data. But this is going to disable uploads of videos and photos. There's no longer a separate toggle for individual videos. And with this latest changes, if the feature is not set to no data, then we are only allowed to choose how much of our data is used by the application each day. This is quite an interesting change as it was something originally introduced back in 2019 for users in India. And I'm guessing the feature has been viewed as favorably since now it has been expanded to a global user base. It's also interesting that the iOS app for Google Photos hasn't received this change yet either. And Google's iOS apps tend to get these newer changes earlier than the Android counterpart. So these are the two latest changes to the Google Photos application. Let me know in the comments section below if you actually use the video toggle for cellular data in your backup settings. I can only guess Google made this change because it wasn't used by that many people, but it just seems strange to have removed the option entirely as it really allowed you to customize how you backed your stuff up.